welcome on this tutorial wish well you are well last tutorial i have discussed when esp8266 is a station in a wi-fi network as a server and as well as a client how it can communicate with other smart devices and exchange data wirelessly i have used android mobile and desktop as smart devices to communicate with esp8266 and exchange data. In this tutorial, I will explain how ESP8266 can be used as a access point and how it can generate its own Wi-Fi signal and how other smart devices can be connected with this Wi-Fi network and can exchange data with ESP8266. Here I will use Android mobile and PC both to communicate with the generated Wi-Fi network by ESP8266. Please subscribe and support me. If you have any query or suggestion, please put it into the comment section. When ESP8266 is set as access point, it can generate Wi-Fi and different smart devices may be connected with this Wi-Fi. Those smart devices communicate and access data to this ESP. Here most important feature is that no need to use any data pack from any internet service provider to communicate locally with other devices. To use ESP8266 as access point, we need to set the mode as 2. So setting the mode, I am using the command AT plus CW mod is equal to 2. Here it is showing Wi-Fi disconnected. As ESP8266 now is going to be used as access point, so it will not be connected with any other Wi-Fi network. The ESP will generate its own Wi-Fi signal. To see last setup for soft access point, I am using the command AT plus CW SAP question mark. See this is the response which indicates that the last setup for this ESP as access point was the name of SSID is SSID AP and this is the password 1234567 8. The password should be at least 8 characters. This 1, 4, 4, 0. This 1 is the channel ID. This first 4 indicates the encryption method. Here it is password protected. The second 4 indicates the number of maximum stations that can be connected with this access point. And 0 indicates whether it is broadcasted or not. 0 means it is broadcasted. If I want to change name of SSID and password, I can change it. For that, I am using the command at plus CW SAP is equal to say name of the SSID is Shubho and password is Shubho1234 say and the rest I am setting as 1, 4, 4, 0. Enter. Response is okay. Again, I can check whether the SSID name and password has been changed or not using the command at plus CW SAP question mark. Enter. See, the present name of SSID is Shubho and password is Shubho1234. Now, in my mobile, I am enabling Wi Fi. See here, different Wi-Fi signal sensed by my mobile are Shubhadeep, Shubho, Geo Fiber. Now, this Shubho, which is the SSID of Wi-Fi signal just generated by my ESP8266. So, I am connecting with this Shubho. See here it is written, connected without internet. So, my mobile is now connected with the Wi-Fi network generated by ESP8266. Now, checking IP address of access point, that is ESP8266 access point, the command is AT plus CIFSR. Enter. See here, the IP of my access point is 192.168.4.1. This is the default generated IP of access point. Now if I want to know the IP of station which is connected with this access point, which one is the station now? 
my mobile which is just now connected with this access point that one is station so if i want to know the ip of that station i may use the command at plus cwlif enter so this 192.168.4.2 this is the ip of station here it is my mobile which is just now connected with esp8266 access point to communicate or exchange data between esp and my mobile with http request we need to set one as server and another as client here i am setting esp as a server and browser in mobile or any smart device to initiative server the esp module must be set to multiple connection this is done by the command at plus chipmux is equal to 1 enter this will set the module to multiple connection unless we do this we cannot start the server now to start esp as a server at http port at 80 i need to use the command at plus chip server is equal to 1 comma 80 this one is for starting the server and 80 is the port address enter response is okay means now my esp8266 is, is acting as a server to communicate with any device or to access data i need one client as i have already connected my mobile with this network generated by esp8266 now i am opening web browser say google chrome on my mobile i am opening google chrome browser in my mobile to communicate or send data from esp server to web browser client i have to type ip address of access point that is 192.168.4.1 in web browser and that will be followed by clone and 80. I am putting IP address of access point here 192.168.4.1 when I have written IP address of access point in my mobile browser address bar and hit enter this response came to ESP8266. What is the response? It indicates that some get request that is http request from my mobile that is the client came to this esp8266 server this is the response plus ipd one is the link id 453 is the length of data and this is the data http request came from mobile browser to this esp8266 access point 192.168.4.1 this is the host means the ip address of access point connection keep alive means now my mobile that is the browser at mobile is having a tcp connection with esp8266 server it is to be noted here that whenever we will refresh web browser it will create a new connection with server if we keep the connection idle that is if we do nothing for a while after a while connection will automatically be disconnected then we need to refresh the page again now i will send data from esp8266 server to my client that is mobile browser for sending data i will write the command at plus chip send is equal to link id that is here 0 comma say 14 14 is the total character length which i will send see the response is ok now I will send the actual data. Say the data is I am student. See this is 12 character that will be added with new line and carry as written. So total is 14. Enter. Send OK. To see the data in my mobile that is at client, we need to close the connection. The command is at plus chip close is equal to 0 enter i will get the data in my mobile i am zooming it surely the data came here yes see the data i am student i am showing by sending other data say 80 plus chip send is equal to 0 comma 162 
enter and this is the total data which is a very simple html code which will generate a form enter response is send ok i am closing the connection this is the response at client of the data which i have sent from esp8266 now if i fill up this form with date another data say say i have filled up this form with data silence and progress and while i will press the submit button this data will be sent from client that is my mobile browser to the server that is esp8266 pressing submit button see here the data came silence and progress as a client i can connect my desktop or laptop also now i am connecting my desktop as a client checking what are the different wi-fi signals at present my desktop is sensing see two wi-fi network my desktop is sensing one named is shubhadeep another one is shubho this one shubho this wi-fi signal is generated by my esp8266 so connecting with this see here now my desktop is connected with esp8266 what is the indication here no internet secured means the wi-fi signal which is generated by esp8266 is password protected so now my desktop is connected with esp8266 desktop as a client and esp8266 as server now to communicate esp8266 with this desktop i am opening my browser in my desktop and in address bar i am writing ip address of esp that is 192.168.4.1 enter when i hit enter say the response in my serial monitor which is the response at esp8266 get front slash http front slash 1.1 this is the get request came from client that is my desktop to esp8266 what is the ip address of esp8266 that is 192.168.4.1 and connection is alive now sending data from esp8266 i am using the same command and same data just i have used so 80 plus chip send is equal to 0 comma 14 enter now i need to send the actual data that is i am student enter to get data in client that is the browser i need to close the connection enter see the data came i am student now i am using the other example which will create a form 80 plus if send is equal to 0 comma 162 enter okay this is the html code which will generate a form in my client enter see automatically the form is generated here i am filling up the form with silence and progress clicking the submit button submit see the data silence and progress automatically came from my desktop that is the client to my esp8266 that is the server so these are the different examples i have shown here how esp8266 can be used as access point and while we want to communicate or exchange data with another smart devices how esp8266 can act as a server and that smart device can act as client and how data can be come